G'day Hawks fans, obviously a disappointing result uh, to finish the year. Um, not the way we wanted to go out, but uh, I guess you know the best part about finishing a year is, is getting to enjoy the moments that were created throughout the year. So we thought a great opportunity would be to, to go around to a few of the boys and touch base about what their favourite moments were and, and yeah, we'll see what we come up with. Edo, just chasing your favourite moment from the year. Funny that you're asking the question, Fergus, because it's, it was when you kicked that goal against uh, Port Melbourne to, to give us the win. And I remember we were all jumping, we are going, yeah, yeah. That, was, that was the best moment. Joined by The Apprentice. Apprentice, what was your favourite moment from the year? I think we can't go past Paso's barbecue moment last time we were on the Gold Coast. Um, and then another special moment on the Gold Coast was I had a really good night with DBR that night, so that was another yeah, really special moment for me. What was your favourite moment from the year? Um, probably when we got that Henway down the ground in round 12. What's a Henway? Oh, about two kilos. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> What's your favourite moment of the year? Um, you put me on the spot, you have. I literally came over here about five minutes ago and said, can you think of something? Favourite, Favourite moment. moment from the year? Can't remember who it was, but when we played the Port Melbourne game, for the life of me I can't remember, someone kicked a goal after the siren to put us up. It was a pretty big moment for the club. Who was that again? Play it again. You'll hear the fans around the ground if this goes through from Green. Any score to put them in front and possibly give them the win! Green becomes the hero! Joined by James Parsons, owner of the Barbecue Moment of the Year. Parso, you can use that one if you'd like, but were there any other moments that stood out to you for the year? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to use that one. Um, hopefully someone else brings that one up. I'll take, yeah, I'll take that. Um, your goal as well, as Ed's already yeah, said, really nice goal. Um, but I really like Stu Essendon, uh, 20 plus disposals. Um, yeah, just had an absolute blindness. So that's probably one of my favourite moments of the year. And the rumour was he was counting out loud on the ground. Mm. Can confirm? Yeah, he was getting louder. 18 was really loud. Yeah, 19, 20, and then he pretty well just subbed himself off with 15 to go in the fourth uh, after he hit 20. Favourite moment from the season? Favourite moment from the season? Um, oh, travelling was fun. Yeah. We had a good win. Who was that against at Box Hill after the siren? You kicked the goal, actually. Play it again. This goes through from Green. Any score to put them in front and possibly give them the win. Well, one of Proc's speech, three-quarter time speeches, um, trying to really inspire the boys. He was like, got, got a bit muddled up with his words, and he was like, "Mate, boys, we just want to go out. We just want to go out and win." And that was it. <laughs> <laughs> Joined by the past skipper and present skipper. A bit of royalty, if you will. Bees, I'll start with you. Favourite moment from the year? Uh, the previous Gold Coast trip would be up there. Yeah, a lot of good times, a lot of funny memories. Just the little small things on the trip that happen. Um, probably can't share it someone camera, but yeah. No. With the big moose. Moose, favourite moment of the year? Do you put me on the spot here, Ferg? <laughs> Um, it was probably when I put the team on me back against Richmond and um, kicked, kicked the snag on the left. <laughs> it actually it turned the game on its head, in all seriousness. They're your words, mate, not yeah. mine. Yeah. <laughs> and Damien? Um, similar, but I'd have to go with your goal against the old mob, mate. Uh, not a bad win, and um, all credit to you. How, how did it get there? Do you remember? Yeah, it was myself, yeah. so we'll claim that. <laughs> <laughs> And play it again, Budge. <laughs> From Green, any score to put them in front and possibly give them the win! Well, I have to name one. Your goal. Play it again, Budge. Goes through from Green, any score to put them in front and possibly give them the win! Siren's gone, but it didn't go. It was weird, wasn't it? I just want a bit of clarification around this. We haven't spoken about this yet. The siren went. And there's actual vision of Harry Rook pointing at the umpire saying the siren's gone and they blew it again. And House will reaffirm this. At training, we practice a lot 
that the siren goes, and if you miss, you get another goal at it. So it actually happened in the game. <laughs> I think just the, I think when we started to get on a roll, and we had we had five or six wins on the trot there, and the feeling around the club was 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 real good, and, and singing the song week after week. Um, it's not it's not a specific moment, but that that, that period of the of the year was probably my favourite. So I'm at home watching Box Hill play Port Melbourne. It was the 28, 29 minute mark, and I'm pretty sure that we're nearly three goals now. And then the great green man just puts on a show. Play it again. From Green, any score to put them in front and possibly give them the win. Green becomes the hero. Thanks for your support, Hawks fans. We'll be back in 2023. Go Hawks.